This video is a review of the gas properties chapter in the chemical thermodynamics and kinetics playlist. So we start with the ideal gas equation of state from general chemistry, where PV equals nRT, or PV bar equals RT, where V is the molar volume, the volume divided by the number of moles. So we define the quantity Z, the compressibility factor, which is PV bar over RT, which is one under the ideal gas. So this becomes true for all gases in the limit as the pressure approaches zero, as the gas becomes infinitely dilute with very low pressure and very high molar volume. And of course, the value of the gas constant being 8.314 joules per mole Kelvin. We can expand on this with the Van der Waals equation of state, where we have an additional parameter for the attractions between pairs of molecules and the repulsions due to the finite amount of space that each molecule occupies. P plus A over V bar squared, quantity times V bar minus B equals RT. Then we have the virial equation of state, which can always be completely accurate in principle if you include enough terms, where Z, our compressibility factor, is equal to one plus a series of corrections including the these series of virial coefficients b2v over v bar plus b3v over v bar where these have names like the second virial coefficient third virial coefficient etc we can do this series in terms of the inverse molar volume or the pressure whichever you prefer using the correct virial coefficient as we go and those virial coefficients depend on the temperature at which the system is being measured all of these deviations away from the ideal gas model, uh, model depend on the interactions between pairs of particles. So in the, ideal gas in the ideal gas equation, our particles don't experience any potential energy between them at any distance. We can have various models like hard sphere, where there is zero at long range and infinite at short range. I believe I need to change those two. There we go, where we have a zero potential at long range and an infinite potential at short range, giving it the hard sphere name. We can do the square well potential, where we additionally have a medium range attraction of minus epsilon, or the more advanced Leonard Jones potential, where we have a one over r to the 12th uh, repulsion and a one over r to the sixth attraction between the particles. We can use these interactions to look at what's called the critical point, which is the part, the point where the first derivative of pressure with respect to molar volume equals its second derivative, which is equal to zero. And this gives us various critical properties like critical pressure, critical volume, and critical temperature where this point occurs. And this determines where the, where the gas is going to liquefy where the coexistence is, and beyond which point we are going to get a supercritical fluid. Then finally, we have the reduced properties, where each reduced property is the property divided by its critical value. So reduced, uh, reduced molar volume is molar volume divided by critical molar volume, etc. And we get the law of corresponding states, where the reduced pressure plus three over the reduced molar volume squared times quantity reduced molar volume minus a third equals eight thirds times the reduced temperature. The law of corresponding states saying that it doesn't matter what the individual uh, molecules we have are, as long as we know uh, their critical point, we can get these reduced properties and all gases at the same properties have the same, uh, all gases at the same reduced uh, reduced properties have the same properties. So this is an approximation which is much better the more spherical a molecule is and uh, the less uh, highly polar it is as well. Links to each of these individual videos in the on-screen annotations as well as in the description.